to this short film on William Shakespeare, or as his contemporaries might have called him, William Shakespeare. Now allow me to impose upon you this question: Who is William Shakespeare, and why is he so gosh darn important? Well, for a man so revered and applauded as Shakespeare, we don't know that much about his life. Well, we do know this: William Shakespeare. Some say the greatest writer ever was born in 1564 to John Shakespeare and Mary Arden. His father made gloves for a living, and his mother once worked on a farm. <laughs> he lived in an English town named Stratford upon Avon, where he went to school. We think until the age of 13, when his father's poor financial standing made it no longer possible for him to attend. In 1582, he married Anne Hathaway, who also used to be a farmer. <laughs> At the time of their marriage, she was already several months pregnant. Together, they had a daughter, Susanna, and twins, Hamnet and Jude. Hmm. High school dropout, agricultural background, married the gal who got pregnant at 18. Seems all we're missing in this story is the Walmart. Anyway, in 1591, at the age of 27, he moved to London, where he began a writing career that would make him revered. Writing some 37 plays and 154 songs. Now, to begin to understand all this stuff, we should take a look at Shakespeare's Well. The top ten things you might not know about Shakespeare's Well. Here we go, number ten. Shakespeare lived and worked in what is known as the Elizabethan era, named after Queen Elizabeth. Oh, hello. Number nine. On more than one occasion, the Queen shut down all of the playhouses and theaters because disease was such a problem. Oh, that's awful. Number eight. Shakespeare was believed to be one of the translators for the Book of Psalms in the King James Bible, published in 1611. Wow, wow, that's <laughs> number seven. Other than plays and drama, the public often enjoyed entertaining themselves with public executions. They often stuck their blackened head on poles to deter crime. Wow, winning! <laughs> Would that be so bad, honestly, when you think about it? Uh, number six: flushable toilets were many years away. Anything that floated in the river was to be avoided. <laughs> yeah, that, I can see where that would be trouble. You don't need that. Uh, number five: Shakespeare was favored by Queen Elizabeth and King James I. And Queen Elizabeth even requested Shakespeare to write one of his plays with Falstaff, one of her favorite characters. Oh, he is so cute! <laughs> Number four. Surrounding the Globe Theater were a host of animal baiting houses, where animals like bears were tied down and eaten alive by wild dogs, plus bars and pubs and several brothels. Good enough for me. Uh, number three. Speaking of brothels, Shakespeare had several extramarital affairs. Oh boy! Ouch! Number two. Shakespeare retired a wealthy, prominent man, well respected and revered for his work on stage. And the number one sign. All of the actors during Shakespeare's time on stage were men, so that means Juliet was. You guessed it. A do. Thank you, Mr. Announcer Man, and thank you, Mr. David Letterman. Now on to Shakespeare's writing. With 37 plays and 154 sonnets, it'd be impossible to get into each one of his works. But it is important to note that Shakespeare's plays can generally be divided into three categories: the histories, the comedies, and the tragedies. The history plays were often based upon actual accounts of the English monarch. Oh, I am happy! But unfortunately, many of them are boring to American people and high school students, as yourselves, don't really read them. Moving on. Wow. Up, baby. Comedy plays are distinguished in Shakespeare only by the fact that they tend to have happy endings. Oh, I am happy. The comedies written by Shakespeare have often been the source of many films throughout the years, including the 1999 film Ten Things I Hate About You, which was loosely based on Shakespeare's comedy The Taming of the Shrew. Ever seen a shrew? Well, here's one. Finally, the tragedies are perhaps some of Shakespeare's most well-known plays. Here are a few, and. 
the plot summers. Othello. Oi, Othello, your wife's cheating on you. Oi, we're all dead. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo, I love you. Oh, Juliet, I love you too. My family hates you. My family hates you. Oh, we're all dead. Hamlet. So, Dad? Avenge me. I'm gonna kill you all. Oh, we're all dead. King Lear. Come here, daughters, and tell me you love me. Oh, Dad, you do this all the time. No. I hate you. Oh, we're all dead. And Julius Caesar. Hey, Julius. Look over there. Ow! I'm dead! And that's just to name a few. Well, my friends, there is a quick-witted look at the life, world, and writing of the greatest English writer ever. Hopefully this film has inspired you to learn more about Shakespeare, whether by going out and seeing one of his plays, or giving one of his sonnets to your girlfriend or boyfriend, or, God forbid, actually picking up a book and reading something about him. At any rate, a wise man once said, Music can tame the savage beast. But Shakespeare, Shakespeare wrote a play about it. Shakespeare.